Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am William and in this video we are going to configure two grow watts in parallel running in split phase. As you'll see it's a pretty easy configuration. Let's get to it. First thing we're going to want to do shut down our grow watts. Remove our communication cards. Shut off, a quick shut off with the batteries. I'm going to shut off the PV system and I am going to shut off the AC. First thing we need to do when we connect these into split phase configuration is install this communication cable. This is the gray cable, it has a DB9 connector. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is a DB9 connector. You have a male and a female end. You kind of can't screw that up. They will go into the bottom ports on the inverters. Uh, you can only put one in in one side and one in the other. So like I say, it's kind of hard to screw that up. Now there is another cable. This actually is a current sharing cable that connects from the inverter to inverter. That's in the case that you're going to use both these on the same phase so that it's actually sharing current. Do not connect this when you're configuring these in parallel in split phase. So I have 120 volts here. I have 120 volts coming off this. I don't have 120, 120 or 240 configured going to my panel. So you will not use this current sharing cable. You will only be using the DB9 communication connectors. This is so that one inverter talks to the other. So the first thing we're going to want to do, like I said, you can only put these in one way. Have one on one inverter. And you will have one on the second inverter. I don't tighten these all the way just because I, I may take them out again. Just enough so they don't rattle out with the fan of the inverter. The second inverter we already have secure. I installed that earlier. Well, as you know, these are already configured in split phase, so it's already connected. I'm just going to make sure that it's connected good. So we are going to fire on the inverters. I'm going to turn on the AC power on these. And in the manual, what you will see when configuring in parallel split phase, one will need to be set to 2P0. The other one will need to be set to 2P2. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. So as you can see here, we have both inverters off. They are connected with the communication cable. So it is giving us a slave one error. This error is a, I believe it's a battery communication or open circuit code because obviously the batteries are off. But right now what we're going to worry about is connecting these in split phase. So what we're going to want to do is go to program setting 23. And since I'm in here and I reset these, it went back to Sol or Sun as first energy source. I'm going to connect that back to SBU so that it goes to solar then batteries then utility and we'll go up to 23 here and set that to 2P0 as I want to make this one the slave so I set that to 2P0 by default it should set up on the other one as 2P2 let's take a look and see had to cut the loose there the light so that you guys can see by default this should automatically sit up on 2p2 you can see it did change automatically the SBU that's because you have that communication cable coming in Let's scroll up to 23 and configure this one to 2p2 if for some reason it didn't take automatically 23 is set to single so it didn't update automatically so let's go in there let's update that to 2p2 which will say that this one actually is the second one in the series now we have inverter number two figured to 2p2 our first inverter set to 2p0 and we have our second inverter set to 2p2 in option number 23, we have this one set up as the primary, this one set up as the secondary slave. Let's open up our battery connection. See if we can't get rid of the error 56, which it should go away once it cycles through. 
we're going to flip on the inverters. We'll flip on the number one first, let it open up, flip on number two, see if we get any error messages. They're both up running. I heard the uh, switch on, they're on, there are no configuration errors. So we have this one set up as 2P0, this one set up as 2P2. And really folks, that's it. I'll give you a close up of uh, what it looks like on the 2P2 here and the 2P0. We have this one running as our primary and this one running as our slave. Okay guys, as you can see, we have our first inverter set up on 2P0, which you have the digital display here. Let's see what that one says. Remember that one is the second in the series. It says 2P2. And it really is that easy. Uh, hopefully it works out that well for you guys. Uh, remember to shut off all the power going to those inverters prior to doing any of these installations, especially that communication cable, because if you have power on those inverters when you're installing that communication cable, you could be subject to uh, burning up some type of uh, communication board or circuit within the inverter. So make sure everything is off before you fire back, uh, before you install everything and turn everything back on. And happy DIYing, guys. That's a pretty easy setup there. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.